we have a chain that is hanging at the edge of the table so initially it's given when eta l so total length of the chain is l so when eta fraction of it is hanging then it starts to slip so that is the condition that is given we need to find what is the total work performed by the friction when it completely falls off so analyze let's analyze both the situations separately so one is the starting position when eta times the length is hanging and then it just starts to slip so we can write the the tension in the rope at this this instant at this point will be because of the mass of the hanging string and that will be eta l upon total length into mass so this is the mass of this part of the chain times g so this is overcoming the friction on this part so on this part friction is k times normal reaction and normal reaction is mass of this into g so k times mass of this length is 1 minus eta l by l into m into g so from here most of things will get cancelled and we will get the value of k so this is the friction coefficient on the table top now let's find the work performed by the friction so we'll do it in a small so let's say it has slipped by a distance x and then it moves a little bit of more distance dx so why we are integrating it because the fk is changing with time so the normal reaction as it is less and less the normal reaction also reduces so it's not a constant so we are going to integrate it to get it for a small displacement and then integrate it from 0 to total length so while it's slipping and when it is at a distance x the small work done during this motion as of dx is minus fk into dx so this is the work, work done by the friction and fk is k into n and n is mass of the rest of the rod rest of the chain into g so mass of this part of the chain will be the length upon total length into mass times g dx so same thing what we have done here what we have done here and the same thing we have done here it's the unitary method to find the mass of the part of the chain so this is the total work done so we integrate it limits of x will be from 0 to 1 minus eta into l so we do that and get our answer in terms of k the value of k will put from our initial condition and get our final answer